Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, we will start in a few minutes. So we would like to encourage you to call your classmates or teachers to join this webinar as we will start in 10 minutes. So please call them and provide the Zoom link that I will be sending on the, on the chat box. Again, uh, we would like to encourage everyone to call their students or classmates to join the webinar and provide the Zoom link that I'll be posting in the chat box. Thank you.
All right, good day, everyone. We would like to welcome you to have you connected to the real world using technology. It is one of the practice webinars that bring you knowledge beyond horizon and to bring enrichment to your wisdom. The webinar is brought to you by Silicon Valley for You. I am John, a member of Team SV for You. So we would like to encourage everyone to please call your classmates or your students and colleagues to join this webinar. I have provided the link on the chat below. So if you have any questions during the presentation, please utilize the chat and we will ask it out in our speaker at the end of the presentation. All right, so let me introduce our first speaker. He is the founder, CEO of Silicon Valley for You. He has over 20 years of experience in the hip tech industry and championed multiple companies. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Guru Yales Warapu. Guru. Thank you very much, John. <clears throat> so welcome everybody. Um, I'm gonna share my screen and uh, we can get started. Um, good morning to you guys. Um, I assume you're all in India. And so I'm gonna talk about, you know, what we are trying to do as part of Silicon Valley for you um, with all the schools and colleges around the world. And um, as name suggests, uh, Silicon Valley for you is to bringing Silicon Valley to the rest of the world. So uh, essentially, it's not about um, just teaching some coding, some technologies. It's about bringing the experience and connecting them to the real world. And uh, so essentially, this allows the students to understand the, um, um, the connection to the real world while they're at school. And also, you know, um, it, it kind of gives a perspective uh, for their education and see why, what they're learning, you know, how they are learning and where, where they're going with uh, the current education and what's working, what's not working, things of that nature. So I'm going to go over all those. As John mentioned, if you have any questions, feel free to, um, you know, drop in a question. We'll be more than happy to um, um, answer those at the end of the session. All right, so, so our vision is basically Silicon Valley for you is partnered with a bunch of tech companies in, from Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is, 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 is um, located in San Francisco, California. And we, a uh, group of companies bringing, like as I said before, um, the awareness of technology, especially problem solving skills, using technology, how you can solve a problem. And then our education is, a business case or a use case or a research tool skills. It's not you know developing skills towards research. We take a, a problem and then we train you on the relevant skills. All right, somebody had a question. Yeah, and uh, so that's our vision. As part of that, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, we we have been we have structured a lot of courses from, from all these. Uh, companies from the industry and um, and then I'll talk about all that and it's more like a pathway it's not a course it's a, it's a continuous process and then we all, our process also has very unique um, structure to it so I'll be happy to speak to you about all that myself um, I've been in the industry for a long time I'm to Silicon Valley from India and uh, it's a long long time ago so looking for opportunities in tech and I built few startups and um, so the idea of Silicon Valley for you is, you no longer need to come here, we can bring Silicon Valley to you. So with the current evolution of technologies and uh, the growth of um, in the content and also the, the, the explosion of the uh, internet and bandwidth um, capabilities. And so, and we are able to bring Silicon Valley to everywhere else. And you don't have to come here and uh, it's no longer required. Back in, back in my time, there was no choice. And there were about five companies in India in tech. And um, you know, you know, without coming here, you can't build your career. And that's no longer the case. That's what we are trying to do. 
So we started six years ago and we trained over 15,000 students. We have 300 interns um, working. And uh, for us, all our interns are part-time. They're either, they belong to um, you know, global colleges or schools all over the world. And they bring uh, different cultures and different capabilities. And then they, they help the uh, um, uh, in, you know, uh, global community through internships as well as they learn from the global community as part of our programs. It's a very interesting program where you get to, you can cross the borders and understand the cultures from different parts of the world. The students from you know, uh, India and Canada and you know, New Zealand, Australia, um, Germany and, and Ethiopia. So all these different countries are coming together to solve a problem, which is pretty, pretty powerful. So that's what we are trying to do. That's another dimension to everything we are doing here. These are all the companies behind Silicon Valley for you. So there's AI based companies. Newton is very, we, we work very closely with Newton. And then there is a conversational AI. Uh, basically AI is artificial intelligence for those you are not familiar with. And um, there are a lot of web companies, security companies, um, robotic process automation companies. And uh, so, and we, and blockchain companies. So basically the idea is to bring the awareness from on the education from the industry experts, not from you know, um, you know, traditional you know, um, uh, teachers that are more on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the conceptual side. So we want to bring the, uh, uh, the education from the use case point of view. That's why we bring the education from Silicon Valley, from uh, these, these are all cutting edge uh, uh, companies that are working on these um, you know, concepts and um, the technologies. And you, you can get better than this. This is as good as it gets. And uh, so that's the whole point of uh, bringing these programs. It's not about just teaching some coding like Python programming, Java programming. There are a lot of places you can learn. You can go to YouTube and learn. But what you can't learn is Without using that, how do you solve a problem? How do you uh, develop application for coffee place? And uh, you know what all the components I need, and uh, you know what kind of solutions I need. So we bring these um, cutting edge solutions that um, accelerates the path of uh, solving these problems. And and it's, it's done by the industry experts. The education is done by the industry experts. That's why it's very very powerful. So essentially, like I said, you know, we mentor students to connect to the real world. And also for those students that are um, you know, higher grades and uh, you know, at least 14 and above, we give them guaranteed internships. So that's where our another uniqueness comes into picture where it's not about getting them internships, it's about application of uh, the education. Whatever they learn, we give them opportunity to apply so that they can solidify the knowledge and then while learning new things, it's a continuous learning and also application of that. So essentially you are a, a mentor for somebody and also your mentee for someone else, or you are a contributor for a certain uh, projects and but while learning something new so that it's a, you, you continue to learn. So basically there is a concept called learning and relearning and unlearn, you know, so basically we are bringing that continuous learning process into uh, uh, our pathway. So I'm going to switch gears and then show a little bit about uh, our company and our website and, and so that you get a sen sense of what we do. So this is our website and you can see um, these are all the interns that work for uh, Silicon Valley for you. You'll see new faces uh, every month. And um, so, so, so I'm going to click on Swart Store, which is a, a Swart Cloud. Uh, as you can see, this is the um, a marketplace where a lot of students are developing projects for the real world. And so essentially connecting the SMBs and startups uh, one project at a time. So you can see all the product demos and uh, some of the projects in, which are in progress. And there are tons of products in progress. And, um, and some of them are already done. So I'm going to show one of the products as a demo, and you can 
you can watch the demo after that i can speak for that for a few All right, so this is basically a demo of image processing using Python and artificial intelligence. So what it does is if you have any recognized uh, logo and shape, it will find on Amazon or it can be Flipkart, it can be Walmart, whatever it is. So that's the use case It's developed by students and it's being used by some of our customers as these are same, um, you know, for a different use case as well. So same IP blocks are being used for different use cases. So idea of this is for students to be able to understand, okay, now I know Python, I know AI, so how do I build a use case that can serve a customer or a group of customers? So that is the value we are trying to bring to the table while they're at school, that is the key thing. And they do on part-time basis and it's as part of the pathway once they, you know, we call it skill development, once they get the hang of certain skills, we put them as a group in a project to make them work on some of these projects. So you can see some of the partner products as well as um, um, other products. Another product I want to show you is that it's a something called Next Lab. It's developed by students. It's a startup by itself right now, and they they launched under Silicon Valley for you. Now this it, it, they launched Next Lab as a startup. It's a separate company. So this is also developed using Python and uh, HTML, CSS. And what it does is it will uh, build the profiles of the students. Or as soon as they join our Silicon Valley for you, it will build an authentic profile of student uh, for the period of uh, the academy so that you know, they can use this for uh, you know, better colleges. Let's say if you are coming to US or going to abroad, you can use this as a your legitimate profile and also you can use it for employments in future. So the difference is this is not unlike any social media, although this is like a, a STEM profile, it's, it's not unlike any social media, you can throw some uh, content from internet or you can make up. It's very authentic, it's fully validated. We make sure that student has done the, those projects 
and uh, you, you know you, you can upload video content any presentations you did any accomplishments um in competitions whatnot but only thing is it, it has to be a genuine um uh, content so so the idea of this is to create the trust between the student and the entity whether it's a college or a company so this is another sample product uh, developed by students you can see a bunch of products on our website you can go through on your own so the, this is the, the you know significant value we bring to the table for students to be able to do this early on i know a lot of parents might wonder hey is my kid capable of doing 100% they are very much capable a lot of our students develop these products are in college early colleges or in high schools and um, and then, so I keep going. So these are the colleges and schools we are working with. We work with uh, Indian Institute of Management, IAM, Ranchi in India. And uh, in fact, you'll see all their, uh, some of the interns as early as next week. And we are working with engineering colleges uh, in India. And also we are talking to about 25 colleges uh, in India as we speak. And some of the, there's a school called Lebowe in Ethiopia and a lot of West African country schools. We are also, we work with Arizona State University, uh, Bishops University in Canada, uh, Ryerson University in Canada, University of Canada West London. Um, it's in London, basically at Rome, uh, London Metropolitan University, Humber College in Canada. So they're, they're, we are pretty much global. In fact, we are. So I have a slide in a, in a, in few. We are we are working with schools. I mean, we are talking to schools in Australia, Germany, and and um, and. Uh, um, in Brazil, so we are we, we all. In fact, we send the MOU to the school in Brazil, um, uh, uh, Rio de Janeiro, and so we'll be having that uh, their uh, contract and and the, the engagement as early as uh, Monday. So these are the three things we bring to the table. So we train them on the the skills that are required for industry. And then we give them a paid internships. And then we also provide incubation services for those who are not familiar with incubation. Essentially, if they have an idea, we will uh, you know, encourage them to be creative and then solve a problem and we provide everything else, how to, you know, on the business side of things. And also, you know, if they need investment, so we connect them to investors and whole nine yards. If they don't have ideas, we connect them with the existing startups. In either way, so we, we try to develop their uh, or promote their uh, entrepreneurial uh, skills. So right from the beginning and without waiting for, for you to finish your undergrad or master's degree or whatever, you don't have to wait that long to do it. You can continue to do on part-time basis and, uh, and then we'll help you through the process. So the theme is that, like I said before, every student must be a mentor and a slash contributor, and also a mentee. So in the sense you should be learning, it's a continuous learning. You should learn new things, but while you're learning new things, you should apply the ones that you already learned. So that's why we created this pathway where uh, they continue to learn new things and also through internships, you know, apply as soon as you learn. So in that sense, you know, you're uh, pretty much, um, you know, uh, very comfortable and confident of the skills that you acquired. To be honest, when you become a mentor, you really learn. Until that point, yes, you're a good, great student. You probably have good grades and everything. Still, you are not really learning. I mean, you really learn when you start mentoring someone. So this is our pathway for the course. This is very high level. So as we talk more, as I work with your school, we will get down to more details, but pretty much we have skill development, we call it coding accelerators, and then build a product and pro quarters. This, these are the stages of roadmap. And um, so as far as internship roadmap goes, there's a mentorship, there is a content creation, project development, and startup opportunities. It's pretty straightforward for those who are familiar with startup, I mean, uh, tech, uh, for those who are not familiar with it, so mentorship is to uh, internship opportunity to mentor someone. The content is to learn the domains, as well as e-commerce, AI, blockchain, NFTs, 
um, cryptocurrencies and financial, healthcare, manufacturing, you name it, so many things. You know, you, you don't have to learn everything. You can just identify your passion and then maybe you learn those. We help you through that process to identify what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And uh, if you don't have an idea, obviously you pick a domain and start learning. For instance, simple things like e-commerce, it's very straightforward or mobile, for instance. It's very, most of the kids, they already know what mobile is, gaming, for instance. So things of that nature. So the, the, the content creation marketing gives the opportunity to learn those domains. So our internships are not just namesake internships, like you, know, you get a letter, so you get a certification as an intern, but this is not just that, it's beyond that. You have an opportunity to work with the customer, you have opportunity to work with their, a real use case and solving a real problem and also satisfying a customer, which is a legitimate experience. So basically, yeah, so the, the internship comparisons, I was just say um, we, we observe as part of our academy, and we, we look at all your skills, technology skills, your soft skills, your leadership team, um, you know, being part of the team. And so we look at all that and then we'll help you where you lack and then get you into the internship. Point of doing all that is, once you get into the internship, you'll be successful. The important thing is to be successful. And most of the, you know, when you do internship, even if you're a college intern in a lot of companies, you know, you, it's a very, you do it for a stipulated period of time, let's say, you know, two months or one month. You, you know, they don't really care whether you came to work or not. So it's just a namesake type thing. I would say it's a legitimate internship. And also our internship will last for years to come. It's not like, couple of months internship it's it's a seasonal if you have exams and other commitments you can take time off you can come back it's ongoing it's part-time basis and you can you we can adjust number of hours you can start from one two hours a week all the way to 20 hours a week depending on how much you can invest into this it's it's not like a, it's, it's the idea of doing this is to have that connection to the real world So yeah, so this is a, you know, as I explained, this is the criteria. So we develop, so we, uh, we develop all these skills to before you get into the internship so that you will be successful doing it. And um, so essentially we, we work with a bunch of companies, you student as a resources, we are developing a lot of projects. You saw the Swag Cloud. That's how we are through the Swag Cloud. We are taking the products to the customers. And, you know, so the SWAT Cloud serves small businesses and startups and also the youth uh, to train them. So whether it's mentoring them or developing projects in either case. So we have Silicon Valley for you as like a hub that partner with a bunch of companies from Valley and have these students from all over the world. It's a, you know, if you look at the augmented energy, it's very powerful and we are creating this tech um, um, creations to solve problems, uh, real world problems for the customers. So these are the different courses. I'm just giving a very high level picture right now, blockchain, machine learning, web application, mobile, cloud services, uh, you know, robotic process automation, conversational AI chatbots, and programming languages like Python, Java, JavaScript, uh, Angular, GS, uh, Angular, JS, React, whatever, just tons of them. But what we don't do is we just don't take someone and say, okay, let's, let's learn Java. It's not that. It's just, okay, you're going you're gonna to build this. In order to build this, probably you have to learn Java or you have to learn Python or JavaScript or Xcode, whatever it may be. We identify the, the course content based on the problem they are going to solve. So yeah, so one more time, basically it's a business case basis and also trained by industry experts. That's the key differentiation. And it comes from Silicon Valley, it's online, it's virtual. So that gives an opportunity for you to be part of international community. And also it's very convenient for you. You can attend from anywhere. If you're traveling to other places, you can continue attend from the new location and it makes life much easier without moving around here and there. 
And uh, like I said, you learn from the best, you know, the guys, for instance, the people that work for startups, Google, Facebook, Netflix, all these engineers are training these students. And that's a great opportunity for you to be learned uh, from those guys. And also some of our academy students are training these students, all these uh, cross-cultural and um, you know, uh, getting trained by the experts is something um, we, are trying, we are bringing to the table as it is, it's very virtual. And we, we do throughout, throughout the year. And it's not like summer camp, it's not like one week camp. It's, so that's another thing we want, we preach all the students to take this as a, a process, everyday thing. It, it has to be embedded into your daily routine. And the technology is not something, or, or solving a business case is not something, it's not a fixed course, one week camp, two week boot camp, they don't work, take my word for it. I know I attended a bunch of entrepreneurial entrepreneurship uh, boot camps or leadership boot camps. Trust me, none of them became entrepreneurs. And and um, I guess the point I'm trying to make is that ours is a, a pathway. It's like academy. Like if you want to learn ten, tennis, you know you 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 have to uh, be in it, and and you can't just um, learn tennis for a couple of weeks and you know see how it goes. It won't work. So especially with coding more use time you spend, better it is for you. And sooner you start, better it is for you. And those are the, the things that we are trying to bring to the table. Again, as I said before, it's not about just learning some coding. It's not about learning Java. There are a dime a dozen Java programmers in the world. What, what is needed is if a Java program comes to Silicon Valley for you, if I ask a question, what problem can you solve for me? 99% of the times I don't get the answer because they don't know the answer. I have to give a spec. If I tell them, okay, this is, this is the spec and go through it and write the code, probably they do it. Even then there are cases where they may not be able to map it. So that is the, that is the, the lacking uh, component in the, with all due respect in the current education. So as a result, there's a gap between the academics and the real world. It's not only in technology, anything, whatever the discipline you are, you, you, whether you want to be a mechanical engineer or you know, whatever you want to do in life. And um, uh, so there is a gap. And we think that, you know, we strongly believe that this soft, I mean, the software or tech skills can bridge that gap. Even if you don't want to be a tech person, even if you want to be a financial guy, let's say you want to work in financial sector, you still need tech. So you don't have to do the coding, but you still have to understand blockchain. You still have to understand cryptocurrency. You, so in order to understand those things, you have to be in it. You, you know, today, if I go to a pure financial guy, it's very hard for him to understand what blockchain is. And it's, it's not that easy to figure that out. Um, and vice versa, if I go to nurse and say, hey, why don't you use AI? Because they, in their mind, it, you know, all these are tech. And these are all not, it's not me. I don't belong to that. So that's, that shouldn't be the case for the future generation. That's why we are trying to bring this to all the uh, very young students to learn these things early on. So, yeah, so I, I showed you Spark Cloud. So we solve the problems for the small businesses, startups, education services, internet of things. And uh, so education services, currently we are working with IAMs, MBA programs, what I mean by that. Engineering colleges, private schools, international schools, medical schools. So because the point I'm trying to, as I said before, it's, it's no longer, you know, this tech thing is no longer for CS and IT guys. It should be for everyone. That's why, in fact, a lot of other uh, discipline people like civil engineering, mechanical engineering, or uh, medical schools and um, 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 business schools, they are more interested in our programs because they recognize the need for it. And a lot of CS folks, they think that, oh, I already know Python programming, I'm good. No, you, that is the misconception. We are trying very hard to um, you know, educate these people that just learning a language is not going to cut it. You got to go 10 steps ahead of it. So, so yeah, so I, I showed you the schools that we already working with, bunch of schools we are talking to. And so I, I, this is one of them in Brazil. We should be getting that as, as early as Monday. 
And these are the, some of the startups we are working with right now. And uh, so, yeah, so for our, I just wanted to put it out there. So we give the course certifications and internship certifications. For our coding pathway, we, there is a nominal fee because we need a committed student and uh, we need a serious student. Uh, we tried free, it never worked. And so as a result, we charge a small fee. And, um, and our, but once you get on our pathway, once you become intern, you get paid. These are paid internships. And in fact, after once you become intern and you continue to learn, you really don't have to pay any money. So in fact, you are gonna make money, but point I'm trying to make is that your fee in the beginning until you become an intern is your investment into this program. Once that happens, you are not really paying. In fact, you're making a little bit of money out of it. But the, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that it's not the money that is uh, the wealth for them. The, the experience they're gaining is the wealth. That is what I, you know, I want parents and students to notice. And the, as I said before, the fee structure is um, something to make sure that there is a commitment of, uh, towards our programs. And um, yeah, so summary is, as I said before, we bring the real world connections, we sponsor some of the students and we provide incubation services and, um, and also startup opportunities and real world project um, experience. And um, it's a long-term, a sustainable relationship we want to maintain with schools. And so the, the, the way we do is we partner with uh, your school. I've been talking to Mr. Richard. And um, so we bring our programs to your school and so that we have a very trusted, established, a long-term uh, relationship. We are not there to just quickly come and do a couple of months. It's not like that. We want this to be a, a, a program that goes on for years to come. And uh, that's pretty much what I had. Um, so that's the WhatsApp number if you have any questions. And that's the email address. And uh, feel free if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Guru, for that amazing talk. So now let's proceed with our Q&A portion. So does anyone have a question for our speaker? Kindly type it in the question on the question box of Zoom. So if you have any questions, please type it in the Q&A box and we will ask it on our speaker. Any questions from our participants? So Guru, how do they uh, register to our courses and in internships? Yeah. Have, so have? yeah, so very, very straightforward. John is going to send an email to all, all of you and with the registration link and uh, all the uh, details around it. It's very straightforward, very simple. Mm -hmm. So he's going to send an email as early as uh, tomorrow and you can go through it and feel free to ask any questions. Anyone just have a question? Any question from our participants? Right. I believe you've mentioned this a while ago, but uh, how do you uh, select your interns yeah. for this one? So, yeah, so as I said, our business model, our, our uh, Silicon Valley for you is structured to provide internships in the sense we want to give internships. It's not like, um, you know, it's not like, you know, we are trying to screen and then uh, make sure some are selected, some are not selected. Our goal is to give internships to as many as possible. However, um, unless if somebody is completely um, not showing up and not being uh, present to the class and things like that, for most part, we'll get definitely get internships. And uh, in some cases, they do more than one. Thank you for that one. Any more questions from our participants? Please use the Q&A box below.
calling once, calling twice. I believe we don't have any more questions. Okay, Guru, do you have any final uh, message to our participants? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for taking time on a weekend to uh, attend our webinar. And a special thanks to Mr. Richard, who gave us the opportunity to speak to you guys. And um, so, like I said, you know, be in touch and we will uh, email you with uh, uh, all the details as early as tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, uh, we gave the WhatsApp number. If you have any questions, feel free to test, um, email us or text us and uh, we'll be glad to answer any of your questions. We hope to see you, a um, lot of you, uh, and also hopefully you guys take advantage of our programs. Thank you very much for that one, Guru. Okay, so I would like to encourage everyone to please like us on Facebook. That would be facebook.com slash Silicon Valley for you. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Silicon Valley 41 and follow on and get connected with us in LinkedIn. And you may also see our email here. So if you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at siliconvalleyforyou.com. So again, this is John from Silicon Valley for You, and we would like to thank everyone for joining this webinar. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thank you, Guru. Bye-bye.